Good morning. Thank you for joining us. It's so great to have you here. We are celebrating with the rest of the world the International Day of Peace and looking at an amazing realization of peace and how to get there taking place in our world at this time. And we have beautiful music to touch and remind us of that exquisite desire in all our hearts to bring forth a world that is at peace. As we take this journey, I invite you to reach deep within and touch that at the center of your heart where you are truly a part of the peace that is present in the world today. Thank you for joining us. Please stand and join us in singing day by day. To see thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, follow thee more nearly, day by day. I pray to see thee more clearly day by day, love thee more dearly day by day, follow thee more nearly day by day. Everything mm -hmm. that 
I'm ready for my change. I'm ready for my change. I'm ready for my change. Good morning. Welcome to Unity of Wana Creek. I'm Sian, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to our service. Please take a moment to check your cell phones and be sure they're completely off. Thank you. And join me in waving hello to our friends at home. Your presence adds to our spiritual community. We appreciate you. We are so very blessed this morning to have Starlight as our guest musicians. Thank you. Okay, let us open service by focusing our intention through our opening affirmation. Please join me in prayerfully and powerfully speaking it together three times. There is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. Again, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. And once again, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. Let us continue by reading aloud the statement of our unity. God's love is within each of us, guiding us to dynamically express our wholeness, wisdom, and abundance. We acknowledge the universal wisdom in the Christ teachings and in all spiritual paths. I now choose to open to the presence of divine love and to be changed at depth. Throughout this sacred time, God is uplifting me and through my heart, the world. Our heart minister, Jeannie Fusion, will read from Unity's Daily Word. The word for today is turning point. Every moment brings an opportunity to experience life anew. Every day carries the potential for transformation and growth, for adopting a fresh perspective making a different choice, or taking a new path. I choose to make today a turning point day. Whether the changes I make are large or small, each one propels my growth. I discover more about myself, how spirit works in and through me, and how to express my divine nature in meaningful ways. As I connect with spirit within, I know I am supported in every way. I step out in faith to experience life more fully. I am confident and excited as I venture into new territory and embrace this turning point in my life. The scripture is Ecclesiastics 3.1. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. And the affirmation for today is, today is my turning point and now is my moment. Together, today is my turning point and now is my moment. Breathe it in. Repeat. Today is my turning point, and now is my moment. This is the sound of one voice. One spirit, one voice, the sound of one who makes a choice. This is the sound of one voice. This is the sound of one voice. This is the sound of voice. 
voices too the sound of me singing with you helping each other to make it through this is the sound of voices too this is the sound of voices too This is the sound of voices three Singing together in harmony Surrendering to the mystery This is the sound of voices three This is the sound of voices three This is the sound of all of us Singing with love and the will to trust Leave the rest behind, it'll turn to dust This is the sound of all of us This is the sound of all of us This is the sound of one voice One people, one voice A sound for every one of us This is the sound of one voice This is the sound of Thank you, Starlight. That was beautiful. We have many exciting events this fall. Experience Sheila's powerful radical forgiveness two-hour introductory workshop this afternoon. This work has tra transformed thousands of people worldwide. Our fall spiritual learning classes have begun, but drop-ins are welcome for most classes. We have a great selection of healing, enlightening, and thought-provoking classes to choose from. Please join Reverend David for a heart math cut-through session this Thursday afternoon. You do not need a background in heart math to appreciate. You are also invited to experience a wonderful spiritual healing retreat with Reverend David at Villa Maria Del Mar in Santa Cruz. We offer a discount if you sign up before the la before the last day of this month. We will be on the patio with information and sign-up sheets. I would now like to invite CL to the platform. By now, I'm sure most of you have heard about our wellness expo and fair co this coming Saturday. I'd like to share with you a little bit about it. We are having six, six fantastic speakers. Our first speaker of the afternoon will be Reverend David, speaking on the healing power of prayer. We also have Ed Bowman from Bowman College speaking on home cooking with flavors of health, Alexandra Diavalon, how to know which massage is the right one for you. Christoph Naur will be speaking on how to schedule time for yourself. Nancy Faraci will be speaking on gluten-free eating for immune health. And our last speaker will be Sheila Gautreau speaking on forgiveness and healing. We will also have food prayerfully prepared. The bookstore will be open. We'll have 15 minute sessions with all of our healers. We have vendors. We have about 20 healers and about 20 vendors coming. We have raffle tickets. We will have laughter yoga. We have all kinds of stuff, and we still need some volunteers for that day if you have time. So please see us out 
on the patio after the service and sign up to help or learn a little bit more about what's happening next Saturday. Find out more about these and other wonderful activities in your bulletin and on our website. If you are here with us for the first time, we welcome you to our spiritual community. We would love to meet you and we invite you to experience our community at a unity event of your choosing. Please take the very important presence card to the, to the welcome table on the patio to learn more about us and to receive your gift certificate. If you're willing, please raise your hand so that we can acknowledge you. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. We would like to extend a special blessing to you and anyone new both here and online. Together, we love you, we bless you, and we hope the breath of God shining through you. Thank you, welcome. Please take this moment to greet those around you until the music begins. Take that deep breath through your heart. And as you let it out, just wiggle around and get comfortable. We're journeying into that experience of prayer and meditation together. So again, breathe gently in through your heart. And gently rest in that place of peace within you. And let, the, let that music be part of that guide to the very center of your heart.
Mother, Father, God, infinite love, beloved presence, awaken me to know the peace that I am in my oneness with you. Guide me now to that deep, beautiful peace that you are at the very center of my being. And we surrender, letting go of all those things in the mind that seem to take so much energy and activity and gently we set it aside and enter into this place of peace this beautiful peace within the center of being itself this that I am And that peace flows from my heart. That peace flows through my world. All in my family are touched by the peace of my being. And each finds the beautiful peace within themselves. I am peace. I am the presence of peace in those places that I walk and work and connect with others. And the peace of my being touches all. I am a center of peace in my community, in my world. And this divine presence as the power of peace flows from my heart out through that world. And calls all hearts to a greater peace. And I am one with this divine presence that is peace. This presence that unfolds life in a greater order. This presence that loves so completely that all is healed, forgiven, and released. I am one with this presence of peace that lifts all peoples. heals the anguish upon all hearts. I am at peace. Gently within my being. From this beautiful point of peace, I enter into stillness, following those words of the Master, as he said, peace, 
be still. Peace. Be still. Father, Father, God. Infinite love. Beloved presence. From this point of peace, I find the beautiful, powerful flow of love that you are through my heart. Gratefully, I send it forth because I know that its power heals and uplifts, that its blessing guides and prospers and brings to all it touches your peace. And so I radiate this love from my heart. I send it first to my own body for healing and well-being. I radiate this love I send it to my mind and heart for wisdom and understanding I radiate this love and I send it to each one dear to me enfolding blessing uplifting each one this love flows from my heart across the spiritual community, becoming a part of that light and wisdom that flows through each one, blessing everyone in their world. This love flows from my heart to every prayer request brought here. Blessing, knowing with each that the highest unfolds for them. I radiate this love from my heart. Send it across the communities in which we live, across our nation and the nations of the world, touching the hearts of all peoples and calling forth their beautiful peace. I send this love to all who join us in prayer, whether in mosque or synagogue, temple or church, whether gathered at home or on the hillsides. For in seeking to know you, we are all one. This love flows from my heart to Mother Earth, 
to all her creatures. And it flows about the earth to touch the heart of every single person. For you are that love in every heart. And in that love, we are one. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. Please join me. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. And again, divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. And once again, divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. so. Amen. I see smiling faces now in every corner of the world. Joyous understanding showering down upon us all. From this day on, our errors just aren't needed anymore. In poverty and war and hate are things that were before. And trumpets sound and people sing. Embrace each other as they bring the news that all our difference gone. We found the truth, we're one. With every drop of rain that falls, rain peace. With every newborn baby's call, cry peace. Every heart beat out with care, let every voice vibrate the air with every thought, one solemn prayer for peace. Vibrate the air with every thought, one solemn prayer for peace. So good to know it's over now, we've given up the fight. And know that this serenity is all that's truly right. All our efforts spent to aid the ones the most in need. Clean water for the thirsty maid, the hungry we all feed. And trumpets sound and people sing, embrace each other as they bring. News that all our difference gone, we found the truth we're one. With every drop of rain that falls, rain peace. With every newborn baby's call, cry peace. 
Let every heart beat out with care. Let every voice vibrate the air with every thought one solemn prayer for peace. Let every heart beat out with care. Let every voice vibrate the air with every thought one solemn prayer for peace. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning. You may have guessed we're doing peace today. <laughs> the, we really started last week that understanding of sending compassion to the things that showed up on the news. And uh, this weekend is a celebration by the United Nations and people all around the world of the International Day of Peace. So we join with that. And so those of you that did that this week and... Let the news come up, and you may have noticed there was the lot of need for compassion. Anybody find that? Anybody find when you're looking at the, the, the violence that, that shows there, do we have two major stories of people being uh, killed by just insane use of weapons in public places and what do you feel like it's we're kind of falling behind like it's the real desire we have seems to find us in a world that is if anything more violent anybody have that challenge or am I the only one that looks out and sees that now that's 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 what happens in my feeling world but the truth is I know something different I want to share something with you. I want to share some amazing news. Right now, you live in the time when the violence in the human experience is at the lowest level it has ever been in human history. This is the time when there is more peace on the earth than we have ever had before. Not intuitively obvious, is it? <laughs> but to look at this, and it's one of those things that I, I, have, I have known in my heart, but I wanted to really check out and see if I was just doing wishful thinking, which I have done at times in my life, okay? So I actually went and began to explore if, if this was true. And when you understand its truth, it helps to look back just for a moment. Now I'm gonna, just going to, you know, we aren't going to go back through the huge genocides of humankind or the great world wars. I just want to mention two simple facts in our, out of our human history. And, and I even hate to mention those things in this place, but it's, it's necessary that we understand what we are coming from if we are to get to that which our heart is calling us to. There was a time when in Europe and America over 100 thousand women were killed for being witches. Most of them burned. What kind of being can do that? In this country, 
the United States of America. For years, we maintained the institution of slavery by frightful levels of daily violence. That's us. So we have made a journey. And it is an amazing journey. I, I believe it to be the evolution of humankind. And it is a spiritual evolution because only there is the power to make the amazing change, to be able to stand here and, and know that we are at a time of the lowest violence in human history. We had a time when there is less war than ever before. So when I was, I was looking to see if, if this is true, I was a book where a man has really explored this in depth, and I, I found an interesting reflection taking place, because it really has to do with kind of the, the period that my life has covered. Um, so he, he was looking at when he graduated from the university. Now, he graduated in 1976. That was about eight years after I got out of law school. So, and he's, he's looking at... Uh, 2011, which would be, be the class gathering of that group that graduated with him 35 years later. So at their 35th reunion, if they could get together, and he had been able to do that time travel, he, here's what he could have told them at their, at their commencement address. To be sure, the world of 2011 will still be a dangerous place. During the next 35 years, there will be wars, as there are today, and there will be genocides, as there are today. Some of them in places no one would have predicted. Nuclear weapons will still be a threat. Some of the violent regions of the world will continue to be violent. But superimposed on these constraints will be unfathomable changes. First and foremost, okay, now we're looking at 19... 76. The nightmare that has darkened your lives since your early memories of cowering in fallout showers, shelters, a nuclear doomsday in a third world war, will come to an end. Are you old enough to remember that? It seemed inevitable. It will come to an end. In a decade, the Soviet Union will declare peace with the West and the Cold War will be over without a shot being fired. China will also fall off the radar as a military threat. Indeed, it will become our major trading partner. During the next 35 years, no nuclear weapon will be used against an enemy. In fact, there will be no wars between major nations at all. Wow. The peace in Western Europe will continue indefinitely, and within five years, the incessant warring in East Asia will give way to a long peace there as well. There's more good news. East Germany will open its border, and joyful students will sledgehammer the Berlin Wall to smithereens. The Iron Curtain will vanish, and the nations of Central and Eastern Europe will become liberal democracies free of Soviet domination. The Soviet Union will not only abandon totalitarian communism, but will voluntarily go out of existence. The republics that Russia has occupied for decades and centuries will become independent states, many of them democratic. In most of the countries, this will happen without a, block, a drop of blood being spilled. Fascism will vanish from Europe, then from most of the rest of the world. Portugal, Spain, and Greece will become liberal democracies. So will Taiwan, South Korea, most of South and Central America. The 
generalissimos, the colonels, the juntas, the banana republics, and the annual military coups, remember those? Will depart the stage in most of the developed world. The Middle East also has surprises in store. Now, this is 76. You've lived through just the five, the fifth war between Israel and the Arab states in 25 years. These wars have killed over 50,000 people. And recently, in 76, threatened to drag the superpowers into a nuclear confrontation. But within three years, the president of Egypt will hug the prime minister of Israel in the Knesset. And they will sign a peace treaty that will last into the indefinite future. Jordan, too, will make a lasting peace with Israel. In South Africa, the apartheid regime will be dismantled and the white minority will cede power to the black majority. This will happen with no civil war, no bloodbath, no violent recriminations against the former oppressors. Wow. Many of the development will be the results of long and courageous struggles. But some of them will just seem to happen, catching everyone by surprise. That's true, isn't it? Wow. What has happened? We are in the midst of a spiritual evolution of humankind on earth. It has to be spiritual because nothing else has the power to bring this magnitude of change. Have we been able to fully manifest it? No. But have we made serious progress? Yes. Now there's a part of me that I, you know, I've got to figure out how and why and what's going on here. Okay, so if you're not cursed with that gene, just take a deep breath and appreciate yourself, okay? But I look back and go, what's going on? Well, what, what I realize is that there has been a powerful focus on a seed planted in, in Jesus' teaching. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Now, he wasn't able to bring that into any sort of public expression, uh, except that it was acknowledged and became a part of his teaching. And it's not the only place that teaching occurs. Okay, probably the greatest example of the embodiment of that teaching was in India with Mahatma Gandhi, leading this huge nation to independence through nonviolent means. An amazing accomplishment. And so committed to this, and, and it's love. I look at so many ways people talk about it, they talk about nonviolence, resistance, and that sort of thing, like it's some sort of social implement that you manipulate people with. It's called love. And it means you have to care as much for the person whose authority you are resisting as you do for yourself. Because you have to be willing to engage without harm. That's love. That's powerful. And yet I look at, even in the accomplishment of that, at the day that this nation was granted its independence, it descended into a huge bloodbath between the Muslim and Hindu communities within India as Pakistan was created as a Muslim state and India as a Hindu one. Almost a million people killed in that in a nation that had achieved so much through the complete lack of violence in response to that. 
Gandhi kept trying to engage those in the struggle and simply was not effective. So what he did was he stopped and he made the commitment to fast until the violence stopped. He started in Calcutta. Okay, and he asked the violence stop in that city. Now, I want to explain. This isn't, you know, if you don't quit fighting, I'm going to kill myself. That's not what's going on here. This is a spiritual practice of prayer. It is one in which we experience something that we've talked about it in a number of different modalities. A hundred percent responsibility for what is manifesting in our world. And his understanding was that in order for this to cease, he had to cleanse himself of that which was violence within himself and that in with which he had contributed to this experience. In the city of Calcutta, the violence stopped in three days. He went on trying to engage the rest of the country and finally went to Delhi and understanding that he was not able to engage the rest of the country, entered back into the fast, understanding it would be to his death or to peace. After five days, the violence had stopped, and the Muslim and Hindu leaders came to him and swore cooperation and care for each other. That's what was happening. Now, when we look at this change, we realize that we as humankind began to discover a new way to relate to each other out of a consciousness that included love and care for all, not just for us and our, and our goals. Two years, 1989, 1990. Fourteen nations underwent non-violent revolutions. All successful except one, China, and all able to maintain their non-violence except one, Romania. Fourteen nations in those two years. Look at the Arab Spring. They study, they struggle as we see the struggle always within ourselves to engage without violence and then to deal with this violence that is within us. How, do, how does it take place? What is this that suddenly has us as humankind living in a different way? I believe it's prayer. I believe what has caused this, this change in humankind, has been the billions of people who every week go to their mosque or their synagogue or their church or their temple and enter into prayer together. And everywhere. because it is within the hearts of all people. They pray for peace. Year after year after year. And the consciousness of humankind changes. And the wonderful leaders who help us embody and step into how to engage in change through love, through understanding, through caring engagement, the Gandhis and the Martin Luther Kings of our lives come forth. And the leaders of our nations seek 
to find ways of peace from the power of prayer. We do it here every Sunday. Every Sunday. Now, we don't do the prayer of, dear God, go fix everybody and make them get peaceful. We do the work. And the work is sending out the love from our hearts. We send it out to all peoples. Every Sunday, this group of people goes about the work of creating a consciousness of healing and harmony and peace. We did it earlier today. Just like we do every time. And that's why we do it. That is part of our spiritual assignment in the earth at this time to bring about this evolution in humankind. And the way and the power that brings it forth is the love that goes through your heart. So let's do it consciously all week. Okay? You know that that focus. Divine love flows through my heart enfolding and blessing the world. <coughs> Join me. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. Again, divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. Again, divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. In the morning, when you wake up, Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. When you find that person in your jade that just pisses you off, <laughs> divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. When you go to sleep at night after all that stuff that's been going on, end it, divine love flows through my heart enfolding and blessing the world. You are not just creating peace. You are the presence of peace in the earth. If you would like prayer support for any challenges or upcoming celebrations, please see our heart ministers. They will be available following service here in the sanctuary and on the patio. Um, our heart ministers are wearing the lavender stoles. You are also invited to place a prayer request in the prayer box by the front door or in the book center, or by selecting a prayer request link on our website. We will be praying with you throughout the week. It is now time for our prosperity celebration. For love and action or credit card donations, there are envelopes provided in the back of each chair. I invite you to take your tithe or offering in your hand and be aware that God is the source of all your good. Please repeat our affirmation with me. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. Thank you, God. Love is but a song we sing Fears the way we die You can make the mountains ring or make the angels cry. Though the bird is on the wing and you may not know why. Come on, 
on people now Smile on your brother, everybody get together Try to love one another right now Some may come and some may go We will surely pass When the one that left us here Returns for us at last We are but a moment's sunlight Fading in the grass Come on, people now, smile on your brother, everybody get together, try to love one another right now. Come on, people now, smile on your brother, everybody get together, try to love one another right now. Come on, people now, smile on your brother, everybody get together, try to love one another right now. If you hear the song I sing, you will understand. You hold the key to love and fear. All in your trembling hand Just one key unlocks them both It's there at your command Come on, people now Smile on your brother Everybody get together Try to love one another right now Come on, people now, smile on your brother, everybody get together, try to love one another right now. Come on, people now, smile on your brother, everybody get together, try to love one another right now, right now, right now. Walking in the light, in the light, in the light. We are walking in the light, in the light of God. In the light, in the light, in the light, in the light. In the light, in the light, in the light of God. We are walking in the light, in the light, in the light. We are walking in the light, in the light of God. Oh, just enjoy them. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> Let's share our blessing together. Children, you are loved, special, and important. God loves you, and so do we. And we receive these gifts knowing that God is our infinite, constant, abundant supply, and we are so grateful in his joy. Let's stand and take hands and share together our prayer of protection. Together, the light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. End our peace song.
and the light and the peace in the earth right now. So let it shine and have fun. brothers and my sisters all over this land. Ooh, if I had a bell, I'd ring it in the morning, I'd ring it in the evening, all over this land. I'd ring out danger, I'd ring out a warning, I'd ring out love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land Ooh, if I had a song I'd sing it in the morning and I'd sing it in the evening All over this land I'd sing out danger I'd sing out a warning I'd sing out love between my brothers and my sisters All over this land Hell, and I've got a song to sing all over this land. It's a hammer of justice. It's a bell of freedom. It's a song about love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. It's a hammer of justice. It's a bell of freedom. It's a song about love between my brothers and my sisters. Oh, 